Hello guys and welcome to engineering key tutorials. So in this video I'm going to talk about Magnus effect. So the Magnus effect is a phenomenon commonly for any spinning object moving through the fluid. Uh, so for example as you can see uh, if you spin this tennis ball in this direction so the direction of air uh, relative to the ball in the opposite direction so the bottom side of the ball moving with the direction of air and the upper side of the uh, of the ball is in the opposite direction of the air direction so due to viscosity uh, the air in the bottom side will stick uh, into the ball and stream get curved with rotation direction uh, and the top side because the, the pole is spinning in the opposite direction of the air direction separate the air from this side so we have two things provided the Magnus force. The first one is changing in momentum. Because the ball exert force against the air, so the air exerts the same magnitude of this force uh, against the pole in the opposite direction, according to Newton's third law. This force considered as a magnus force the second thing providing the magnus force is the difference in pressure between two sides so the air in the bottom side has higher velocity than the upper side so according to Bernoulli's principle the pressure is inversely proportional to the velocity so we have difference in pressure between two sides and this difference in pressure also providing the Magnus effect so uh, we have uh, a lot of a lot of applications for this Magnus effect in the sport field also in sailing field in the next slide you can see examples of these applications uh, i hope you enjoy this video